Dave Filoni says that he still calls George Lucas for Star Wars advice. Yes, in a recent interview with Dave Filoni, he states that he still occasionally calls up George Lucas to get advice on Star Wars, and that he has a quote-unquote open-door policy to come back to Star Wars whenever he wants. Dave Filoni shares the following quote. He can come right in. He has the pass. Whatever he came up with would be different. He was always the most surprising in what he would do and how he would push things. I always think he has such a keen insight into those human things that make his characters real, make his galaxy real. It's not just that the starships look worn, that things look lived in. He creates a lived in world because the characters have experience and they're very knowledgeable of their world. They've lived their life. So there you have it. That is what Dave Filoni had to say about the man George Lucas himself and how he has an open door policy to return to Star Wars. Now I'm going to get into what I think about this and then towards the end of the video, we're going to talk a little bit about what this actually means. So let's get right into it. This is just, for me, really cool to hear Dave Filoni supporting George Lucas. We unfortunately don't get a lot of that from the current people in charge of Star Wars, which is unfortunate. And it just feels like George's legacy and stories aren't as respected as they once were. But Dave Filoni steps in to kind of do that every once in a while, especially in this interview. And I just really appreciate that. I even more appreciate that he says that George can come back whenever he wants, citing that his world feels lived in, his characters feel real, etc, etc, which is exactly what we are missing from Star Wars nowadays. I like some of the stories, it's enjoyable to watch, but there is something missing. And now I've finally put my finger on it. It's exactly what Dave Filoni was referencing here. How the characters feel real, how you relate to them, how the world feels, feels tattered and lived in, how there's experience in the world because these characters have been through these things. I don't know. It's just crazy to me how that has been lost and how George's ideals have been lost, but still seem to live through Dave Filoni. And I'm so glad that he's given him this pass to kind of return, which... Now I guess we can kind of talk about what this actually means. I don't know if this is something that Dave Filoni can actually do. He is just the chief creative officer. I mean, he okays things, he creates stories, but I don't think he has the go-ahead to say, Hey George, um, you're hired for this new movie. I feel like that is 100% a KK, Kathleen Kennedy situation definitely meant for the higher ups but we have seen george lucas on sets of the mandalorian and ahsoka holding baby yoda which was really cool to see that he did kind of play a part in it at least there for dave filoni maybe mentally as a mentor or something but i unfortunately in the near future don't think we're going to see george working on anything which is kind of what a lot of people are assuming after probably just reading a headline that says this but I'm leaving it up for, I really hope it happens. And you know, maybe it will. We'll just have to wait and see. But for the time being, another part of this interview that I thought was really cool is that Dave still calls up George and asks him for Star Wars advice, which I mean, is probably why a lot of the Dave Filoni centered stories are a lot more quality, a lot more Star Wars-y as he has George Lucas in his ear occasionally. But I'm not gonna dive into that too much. It's just cool that Dave Filoni still feels comfortable calling George the creator of Star Wars and asking him for advice. This is something that I think every Star Wars creator they bring in should be required to do. At least have like a sit down talk with him, go out to coffee with this guy and just say, hey, this is my idea. Whether you like it or not, this is what we're making. What do you got for what can you tell me as the creator? And Dave sees that, Dave respects that, and he continues to talk to George Lucas about Star Wars. And that makes me very happy and should make every diehard Star Wars fan very, very happy as well. But that's all I have to say really about this interview and Dave Filoni's comments on George Lucas. Hopefully he continues to do this and we see George return in some sort in the next couple of years. It'd be very cool to hear that George worked on or had a say in some of the choices in Dave Filoni's upcoming movies, whether that be the Mando movie, or more importantly, the Heir to the Empire movie, which I can only assume is going to include Luke Skywalker. So having George in his ear for that would be amazing. But now, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this down in the comments below. I'm excited to hear what you have to say and respond to those over the next couple of days. Also, while you're at it, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.